Hello, this is David Biocchi speaking and here we are for my intermarket weekly uh, analysis. Uh, so let's start with the euro dollar and as we can see after the words coming from the ECB, the uh, Mrs. Lagarde uh, European Central Bank, the euro recovery a lot against the dollar and the market was stopped exactly by this area around 1.1460 uh, to 80 that is more or less uh, the uh, stronger uh, resistance that uh, it first we can find on his recovery way back so let's say the next next level will be 1.153 and let's see if it is uh, going to be reached soon so there was an impact also on the commodities and that's why we have seen recently also uh, we have seen recently also a gold that still remain around the level of 1800 but a little bit above uh, this uh, price so let's say that still remain as target here 1835 then 50 then 65 and as a main support 1765 that is still working as a main one obviously in case of violation of this support we still have 1680 as a, a last stop okay this is quite relevant and quite important let's switch immediately after to the crude oil but as i share with you in the previous uh, week it is launched uh, let's say uh, to reach maybe obviously nobody knows but we uh, let's say uh, let's say uh, fatal attraction of the $100 so it's like a magnet attracting the price and uh, let's say that uh, uh, I personally expect that it can be reached obviously as told uh, I don't know if it will happen but in my opinion this work a lot as uh, a magnet attracting the price so until the moment uh, this price will remain above $90 per barrel it will be probable that we can see let's say a final run uh, to reach that level and still remain quite interesting let's switch uh, immediately after to the uh, european uh, indices and let's start with the stock 50 that still remain in the sideway we have a clear clear uh, price of the support that is uh, the area uh, between 390 uh, uh, 3980 and uh, 4000 more or less this is the support then we have uh, an intermediate level at 4250 that worked a lot even the last week and finally we have 4400 that still remain here as uh, a main resistance let's come back a little and uh, let's discuss about the DAX that is uh, really in my opinion uh, dangerously again uh, close to the support of the 15,000 area yes for sure we have a let's say a last call for a stop loss that is uh, uh, that is uh, 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 let's say uh, the, the, the last uh, uh, the last price where the market always rebounded in the last uh, nine months but in case of violation of that level we have a, an, a, an area that is completely without volume trade volumes not at all so the market can run fast and the two targets are immediately after the area of 14,000 and then the main one that is around here at 13 uh, 13,300 so more or less this can be a fast run and then there will be let's say uh, uh, a work to be done on this very important support uh, immediately after we can have a look at the US indices so the uh, S&P 500 is uh, let's say trying to continue the recovery obviously we have this area around 4250 that is working as a main support here and uh, all this area around 4500 to 4600 is more or less something that will work as a main resistance not so far is the situation for the nasdaq the nasdaq is really uh, let's say struggling to come back uh, and uh, as we can see there was a first attempt for a rebound but this area uh, worked uh, really a lot in my opinion the most relevant resistance will be the one around 15,600 that uh, was a price where the market reacted before 
collapsing down here. So there was a capitulation after that. That's why I think that it will be quite difficult to move above that level. Finally, let's have a look at the Russell that uh, failed, uh, let's say, the attempt to come back to the area of 2,100 that uh, will mean coming back to this uh, area where the market remained for more than one year. So the market was unable to go there and even lost the price of 2,000. So uh, this is a quite uh, relevant situation and let's see in this week what the market will offer us. This is all for today. Thank you very much for being here. See you next week. Bye-bye.